Hello there, Aries. Hope you have an amazing time with your friends, family, loved ones, and um, happy solar return. Solar return is always a big deal, and uh, I feel like you're going to start to feel it more so as we get older. Uh, we want to take stock of where we've been and where we're trying to, you know, head, like in which direction we're headed. And so it's a really powerful time to manifest things and, you know, lay intentions similar to like a New Year's resolution. But the time is a lot more potent because with the sun in your sign, transiting your sun, it's, um, it's a time where you want to basically start manifesting the things that you want. You're in a very powerful position to draw a lot of attention and to draw a lot of good luck towards you. Okay, so get out there and, you know, really um, go after the things that you want because you're being divinely helped behind the scenes. Um, I saw two images for you when I was meditating on this mid-month reading. The first one is quite beautiful. So I, I see like a bullseye. It's um, it's red and white and it's, um, it's like painted on wood, okay? And it's um, far away. And all of a sudden you hear this whooshing noise and there's this really big arrow headed straight for the bullseye. So it hits the mark, it hits the bullseye. And then immediately right after it, there are a bunch of smaller arrows that are like, about like 15 20 of them all trying to hit the mark and it surrounds the big arrow on the um, I guess like on the target board so what I feel is the message that came out is hitting the mark okay not only once or twice but hitting the mark multiple times so I don't know in what capacity you guys are working but I feel like precision accuracy and attention to details but also um, there's a lot to be said about precision okay so I feel like you're hitting the mark you're definitely on point and you are basically not only you know like if you were to hit the, the target once right it could be people could attribute it to you know a stroke of luck beginners luck especially or just you know uh, circumstance like being in the right place at the right time but for many of you i feel like you guys have an innate skill for doing something and doing something really 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 well and you're in a position where you're able to capitalize on that skill you're able to i'm um, also feeling monetize that skill so whatever skill it is that you are innately gifted at uh gifted with I feel like you're able to do it and this is the month where other people start to see that oh that Aries is not just beginner's luck is not just happenstance is not just a coincidence that they're able to hit the mark they've proven over and over and over again that they are able to you know work with very strong precision and accuracy and they're able to hit the mark multiple times so i feel like you know you are outshining your competitors you're outshining your peers and you're able to i feel um garner a lot of attention a lot of positivity and a lot of attention okay so good for you aries i'm really happy to see this for you we have a lot of cards here that are really strong okay so the energy comes out very strong and very very swift and i feel like that's right up your alley right um i have a special message here that's coming through let me try to listen for it i'm seeing um I'm seeing waves and it doesn't look like sound waves it looks like kind of like the heartbeat okay the heartbeat um, it, it seems like it slowly escalates and then it rises up and then it de-escalates so I'm feeling almost like waves things come in waves things come in droves um, you might have a lot of people coming to into your circle like groups at a time so i'm seeing like not individuals but like groups of people come and then they kind of peter out and then the next wave of people coming so if you're working for example i feel like you know 
things come in threes, things come in five. So you might have like, you know, a dry spell and then a, a, a wave of like a lot of clients, a lot of demands, a lot of needs coming through. And then it kind of peters out. And then the next wave is like really, really busy. So the workflow for this month, it requires a little bit of adjustment because there are going to be some slow days and then there are days where a lot of things are happening. So it seems like you're a little bit frazzled. But you handle, you know, energies really well. You 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 handle, you know, the busyness very, very well. And if anything, I feel like you prefer to keep busy. But I feel like the energy is very like it comes in waves and then it dissipates and then it comes in waves and it dissipates. So whenever you have downtime, make sure you get a lot of rest, okay? Because um I saw this for another sign too, and I feel like it was very disruptive for them. For you guys, you're a fire sign. You're able to, you know, um, handle whatever comes your way. But just in case, whenever you have that downtime and you're just like, oh, there's this thing I need to do. I need to clean my house. I need to, you know, mow the lawn. I need to clean out my garage, but I can, you know, do it tomorrow. Don't do that. Um, whatever you need to take care of, whenever there's downtime, definitely find the time to take care of them, okay? Because like I said, things come in waves and responsibilities creep up on you. And it might get to the point where you anticipate, I'm going to be free tomorrow because work has been slow. And then tomorrow you're slammed with a lot of things, okay? So just uh, something to keep an eye out for. Um, let me get one last card. There was another image that I saw, but I can't for the life of me remember. Um, give me just a moment. Maybe it'll come back during the reading. If it does come back, then uh, I'll definitely relay it for you. So when I mention the really big, powerful cards, um, you definitely have them coming into the picture. And uh, you have the two major arcana cards coming in at the very beginning. Um, well, the placement is at the very beginning of the spread, the way I read it from left to right, okay? First of all, we have here the High Priestess. This is a process of uh, unveiling uh, of something, okay? Like a major, major situation that has been um, behind the scenes, behind the curtains, that has been kind of like talked about, discussed, and um, planned out by other people behind the scenes, or finally getting some type of an unveiling. So this is sort of like, you, you you can hear the rumbles in the ground. You can hear these hush-hush conversation behind closed door. But finally, things are surfacing, okay? So whatever you have been feeling, whatever hunches um, you've been following, or whatever kind of like, you know, that, that, that voice inside your head, if you are a little bit more of the cerebral type, or that little nudging feeling in the pit of your stomach if you're a little bit more of the intuitive type those hunches those nudges are definitely telling you something is up and the whole process is being talked about is being presented is being kind of like unveiled in front of a huge crowd of people is what I'm feeling and I feel like this is very very much about your career um, it's linked up here with the Queen of Coins, and the Queen of Coins is um, very, very career-oriented, okay? So I feel like there's something happening in the work environment where you guys could be expected to travel a little bit more, which is good because I feel like, you know, um, it breaks up the monotony of your work, right? I'm also feeling there is a mass hiring, a drove in hiring, like new positions opening up new employees, new positions being made available. Um, it's almost like the workforce is expanding because there is a big need for more personnel, more people to onboard, more people to do the work. Okay, so I, I feel like for those of you who are kind of like, um, I don't know if I, if there's career advancement, I feel like you're getting confirmation that there will be a lot more positions opening within your organization or wherever you work, or even lateral transfer positions that are available um, in like a sister agency or in a uh, in in like a, a similar industry. Okay, so I'm seeing this cluster of cities and like smokestacks and I feel like it's a similar industry that you can easily jump around in um, in between in order to find something where it has more opportunities for a career ladder or it has more opportunities for future job placement so I feel like all of these things 
I'm sensing this curtain, like everything is dropped, like the curtain is dropped and then you see everything that's behind it, okay? And so I feel like, you know, for those who have been slaving away and like, when is my next break? When is the, the next job that I can get into? There's a massive hiring that I'm sensing and I feel like it pays a lot more. The work itself with this Queen of Coins, it's a little bit more of like the office work. So for you guys, I don't know how, um, how much you would like that because you you kind of like to be on the on the go you kind of like you know um you like a change in your atmosphere and your environment and i feel like a lot of fire signs do they like to stay on their feet they like to move around and so i i feel like there's a lot of processing there's a lot of um uh, paperwork there's also a lot more dormancy associated with these jobs but then i also feel there's travel two of wands this is kind of like facilitating something behind the scenes she's holding a globe it definitely indicates to me um dealing with a lot of foreigners dealing with people who are arriving and departing okay so i feel like you might be processing paperwork um for people who are traveling um the new job that's coming in you might be facilitating traveling you might oversee traveling you might handle the logistics for somebody's travel like um i'm seeing even um like the hr person that is in charge of uh room hotel accommodation booking flights and things like that i'm also seeing for many of you you might be traveling or contemplating about you know a big trip possibly um later on in the year september comes up really strongly i have the hermit card here um september or even uh, in about two months from now so that's going to bring us over the su uh, summer time frame but the bottom line is you have the financial resources in order to make this um to make this possible so i i just feel like you know money is going to be really really good okay and I also feel there's a lot of dealing with international people, a lot of like talking to, accommodating, making arrangements, learning about other people's cultural practices, learning about dealing with people from uh, different walks of life or different, you know, cultural, religious, spiritual backgrounds as well. So this is a really, really good month where I feel like work is going to be really tremendously interesting. I also see some people might be leaving your work environment mainly because everything is expanding they're seeing new opportunities um kind of bubbling up so they they might be grabbing those opportunities okay um the other thing is coming through is we have the high priestess and the hermit both of these are basically the most spiritual cards out of the deck okay let me show you the high priestess the unveiling the hermit your spirit guides Okay, and this is sort of like shining light on a situation, being made aware of this situation, getting a lot of spiritual energy, spiritual hunches, spiritual... Um, I'm seeing even for some of you, uh, lights flickering unexpectedly in your house, in your room, when you're concentrating really hard in your office, for example, too, you will start to see these lights flickering and like... Um, um electrical surges okay and you're just like well that's normal you know because you guys are very pragmatic right um you might work in a place where you know electricity is is like unstable or erratic or the the current is like very very unstable so you might see lights flicker all the time and for you it's like oh that's nothing new you know i'm i um, I'm in an area that's very prone to outages, so of course we have a lot of surges. But I feel like it's your spirit guides trying to communicate with you, trying to detract your attention away from something that you've been working really, really hard on, and they're trying to tell you like, either take a break, take a trip, a step away from it. If you've been really heavily trying to figure out a solution to something, and it just um, I feel like there might be a problem that's all tied up in knots. I'm seeing like not work, like knots. And you're just like, I can't for the life of me get a solution or get a clean solution because you, you like to have things, you know, very, very clear cut, very um, boundary enforcing. And you're just like not able to unravel this really complex and messy situation and, and, and messy situations. Uh, especially for you guys and then also Sagittarius um, 
messy situations bring you a lot of anxiety. Okay, like I, I can just feel like the Sagittarius people just like, oh, I don't want to touch that. Not even with a like a ten foot pole. Um, there's a situation that's like hard to unravel, hard to like, you know, uh, release the knot. And I feel like they're telling you, you know, whenever you encounter that, don't get frustrated. Step away from it, and the solution will come to you magically. Or somebody will give you some information that will help you arrive at the solution. So if if anything uh, comes in for the latter part of April, where the situation seems like a little bit messy, a little bit like oh I don't know how to untangle this, step away from it, okay? Because you're getting some really clear, very strong spiritual divine guidance telling you that it's gonna sort itself out. Um, I do have, for those of you who are planning to travel, who are traveling, this is a divinely guided trip, okay? So basically what it means to me is this trip is going to help you reconnect with people who are very much your spiritual tribe, your emotional tribe. That means they're good people. They're, they're, um, they have sincere intentions. And I also feel like, you know, reconnecting with these people will really uh, bring you a lot of enlightenment. So, for example, if you're traveling to see your friend, you're just like, oh, you know, it's just somebody that I'm going to see. I feel like the trip might open up a lot more. It's not just going to be like a, a conversation. I feel like there's going to be inspiration and insights coming through as a result, okay? For those of you who have been dealing with a water sign, a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio, I feel like this person um, is going to present you with some things, okay? Some ideas, some, some, some propositions, some things that they have been heavily thinking about, ruminating over. And I'm also sensing that you might be kind of like uh, playing the role of a cheerleader for this person. So this could be male or female. Very loving, very caring, okay? But I, I also feel like um, they have some type of problem that you're going to help them fix, okay? So I'm, I'm heavily feeling that for some of you, this could be a mother. For others of you, this could be like a longtime friend. And I feel like this person is a little bit on the naive end. And I feel almost like they have good news to tell you. But like, they're a little bit indirect with their communication. So be very patient when you're dealing with them. I know it's frustrating, right? Like, I, I see this person as like, look at all the things growing out of her head. It's almost like they have a gazillion things on their mind. They're a little bit absent-minded. They dart from one subject to the next. And it's like they, they, they want to make some changes in their own lives. I'm also drawn to this bog. She's a mermaid. The water is dwindling. And it, it's like it's somebody who doesn't handle practical responsibilities very well. So they can be a little bit frustrating to deal with. And then on top of that, they're a little bit scattered brain. Like they're, they're very scattered. They might have a gazillion plans and they don't know how to execute or they don't really see things through. And I, I just feel like they're not very grounded, not very practical. And they're just, they can be very frustrating for Aries people to deal with, but this is what's coming in. And so I, I almost feel like your role in other people's lives for this month is to teach people to be practical, okay? To teach people how to manage their money, Queen of Pentacles, and I feel like this is pretty much the energy that you exude, okay? And this is unlike you because I, I don't really see this happening in other times of the year, but I feel like for many of you, this is when, you know, financial resources really matter to you. You're at a point where you're able to, like, make ends meet. You have the disposable income. You don't have to worry about financial resources anymore. And I feel for many of you, you might even have the financial resources to decorate your house, fix things up around your house, buy nice things, buy nice furniture, buy nice, you know, rug, carpet, like the, the accessories to your home. 
uh, get a pet and like you're in a very very good financial position right now but I also feel like you know they're saying don't be frivolous don't swander um, save as much as you can based on what's coming in okay because like she's hugging the pentacles so tightly so it indicates to me like a, a need to be very very clear when it comes to things we want versus things that we absolutely need drawing the line and you know not succumb to emotional spending so i feel like you're you're either way you're in a good position and you're being very pragmatic with your earnings with your income with the things that bring your life value and and your security and then i also feel like because of this your role in other people's lives is to kind of like show them the truth ace of swords this is a card about a victory this is also seeing a situation in a very logical linear way and so you might get extra frustrated when somebody's coming in in to a situation and they're like frazzled and they're confused and they 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 don't know how to what decision to make they don't know how to act because they're not looking at sit each situation individually they're looking at situations as if they're all combined does that make sense so I feel like for you guys one of the best traits and this is what I really really love about Aries um, you're able to sort things out for people you're able to call people out on their BS and you're able to I, I feel like if someone comes to, to you and their mind is all jumbled and they have a gazillion things that they're trying to sort out you're able to make sense of it for them. You're able to tell them which comes first, which comes second. You're able to sort things out in a chronological way. You're able to disentangle one situation from the next so that the other person can look at their choices and their decisions and, you know, kind of like from a bird's eye view and look at the situation and realize oh my gosh these are separate situations and the whole time I thought they were intertwined and so I feel like you have you know a lot of spiritual awareness you have a lot of clarity and you're able to bring that to help another person and especially if it's somebody that you are very emotionally you know it's somebody you really really care about okay um, on the other hand I also see as well there is a situation here where there's I feel like this is coming in as a warning okay um, this person is definitely juggling okay juggling their finances so I, I and this person is kind of like looking at them through the, the uh, telescope and trying to tell them you know I'm coming to your rescue I'm gonna be there I'm gonna be there to help you might be dealing with an air sign an Aquarius a Gemini and Libra who might feel like you're a little bit kind of scattered, a little bit kind of like, oh, um, not as pragmatic, or, you know, they're showing you a better way to do things. They're showing you a better way to make things work, and they're showing you a smarter way to do things. Rather than pushing hard, it's important for us to have a game plan before we try to undertake some sort of a major, major milestone or some major plans that will advance us to that next milestone in our lives. And then I also feel for some of you, you're dealing with someone who's very emotionally up and down, very emotionally up and down. And I feel like their emotional state might be tied in with their sense of security when it comes to their finances. So when the bank account is in the red, they get really, really irritable and they, they get really, really worrisome. And they're stressed out and, and their energy like you around them when you're around them you can feel the, the 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 frazzled energy and then when they have a lot of money um they you know they're happy they're great to be around so i feel like it's somebody who might be financially fiscally just irresponsible and i feel like you're coming in to give them some type of advice when it comes to how to disengage or disentangle their emotional state from their financial state and i also see this this energy about like nipping something in the bud okay we have here the four of cups and then the five of cups okay telling somebody hey you've been down this path and then it's escalating okay 
So I feel like you're telling somebody, you know, you're you're heading down the path, and I see where you're going, and I see what's going to happen further along the line, further into the future. So you might want to nip the situation in the bud right now because I see the trajectory that you're headed towards. So that's what I'm feeling. And then you're also telling people. I see you giving a lot of advice, giving a lot of counsel to other people, um, making the situation a lot more. Uh, breaking down a very complex situation and making it very simple and and easily digestible and palatable to to somebody else, and then I also feel you know you're in a position where your skills are highly sought after and you're being um, you're being very very pragmatic with with the information that you give out. So this is kind of like the magician in the making for me. Whenever I see this card, it's the Eight of Pentacles. It's somebody who's honing in their craft. They're very good at what they do. And they're trying to create processes, procedures to streamline the workflow, not only for themselves, but so that they can also share what they bring forth to other people. Okay, so I see a lot of overtime too, um, a lot of overtime. For those of you doing like regular nine to five, there will be more opportunities to up your income, mainly because of those overtime hours. And then for those who are working on a client base. Um, you know, like I said, it comes in waves, like huge waves and droves of clients one day, and then you know the next there's a lull, and then the next it, you're going to be quite busy. Okay, so just uh, something to keep in mind. Now, on the romantic front, I have two people who might be in the picture, and you might honestly be juggling two people. I have an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. Um, this is somebody that is a little bit on the possessive controlling side okay she's hugging this thing really really tightly somebody who loves animals this is somebody who really um they they love animal they love to be needed needed and wanted they love the um they love the attention not that they're like you know they want to be in the limelight all the time no they, they want specifically attention from you so I feel like they, they really, really like you. They're very verbally expressive. They're very verbally expressive towards you. Um, I'm seeing Virgo in energy strongly. This is someone who's very hardworking. They like nice things. They, they have like a, a really comfortable living space. And then I also feel like, you know, they're not the most exciting person. So like, like if you want to go out on the town and paint the, the town, you know, um, paint the town red if you want to go and stay out until like three or four in the morning. This might not be the right person for you, but this is someone who's very reliable, very trustworthy, um, quite attractive is what I'm sensing. Okay, they love, they, they have a really good heart, and I feel like they're making their intentions very known to you. And then on the other hand, I do have as well a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is somebody that um, emotionally, this person is kind of messy. Okay, they, they have a lot of things that they need to sort out in their own lives. And I honestly feel like for some of you, this is a love interest. They're very sweet, very caring, really nurturing, very loving. Um, but I just feel like they, I'm hearing, honestly, a hot mess. So I'm sensing that this might not be, if you want to have fun, that's fine. But I feel like this person wants a lot more. They believe in romance. They want to settle down. They want to, you know, have that cottage with the white picket fence. They want safety and security. And so I'm sensing that, you know, they're looking for something long term. And if you can't give that to them, I, I don't feel like you should get involved with them and, and hurt them. But I'm sensing this is somebody that after three or four months into the relationship, they're really going to frustrate you because they're indecisive and um, they might not make the best decisions. This is what I would call, like, it, it doesn't even have to be a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, so moon, rising male or female. It doesn't even have to be a water sign. 
but I'm sensing this is somebody who has a lot of cord of attachment issues because of everything that's growing out of her, out of her hair, out of her head, like pieces of her tail, the environment that she's in. Um, he or she is looking for, you know, like um, a knight in shining armor to come and rescue them. They have a little bit of a victim mentality, I'm sensing. And so I don't feel like it would be in your best interest to get involved with this person. Because like I said, three or four months into the relationship, there, there, there are just so many incompatibilities, okay? I feel like this is a, someone who's very sweet, who's very loving and nurturing. And like I said, you have a lot of positive people, like people with genuinely good hearts. But I feel like this person, they're a little bit of a victim of their circumstance. And I just don't feel like it's somebody who is ready to be a balance or to be in a balance and equal type of a relationship. Um, I don't feel like they're a bad person at all. I don't sense that at all. But I just feel like they have a lot of baggage that comes with them into relationships. And then with subsequent relationship that they get into, they carry more baggage. And so it's somebody who has trouble letting go. They might be a pack rat. They might even... They're just like starry-eyed. And, and so I, I just don't feel like this might be the right person for you guys, okay? Um, that's what I'm sensing here. So the rest of the energy, I feel like it looks really good. And I, I, I also feel like... I'm getting twos here, so two of wands and then two of coins. So I, I feel like there's an energy about you juggling two people, juggling options, having a lot more than you know just one option, um, especially on the love front. And I'm drawn to this little octopus. You know, he has a lot of uh, tentacles, right? So each one is like grabbing new opportunities, and there's nothing wrong with that. Just make sure you are transparent. With the people that you're dealing with but either way you're you're kind of like in demand you're you're in demand and I, I feel like you're being pulled in different directions on the emotional front but Aries you handle it very well so I don't feel like that's gonna be a problem it's just people are coming left and right wanting you know exclusivity from you okay so let me just see I'm going to pull out another card for this Queen of Cups because it's so centered and I feel like it might be a very significant person that you're dealing with, but let me just see. Okay, so we have here the King of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. Okay, so you might be dealing with somebody, honestly, who might be in a relationship you might be in a relationship juggling or this person this uh queen of uh cups might be in a relationship with another person and you know you might be the side person so i that's what i'm, I'm getting with her it's it's like she's not very transparent and it could be he or she but i i was getting this image that this person has a lot of baggage they have a lot of cords of attachment they're not able to let things go and you want to be a little bit careful, okay? I'm just going to leave it at that because I know that you value truth and honesty. You, you value that highly in your partner. And I, I almost feel like your your spidey senses are, are, are picking up these things, these nuances in the air. At other times of the year, you might not be receptive or sensitive to it, but for whatever reason, you're, you're getting the tingles. You're getting like hunches. You really need to trust your intuition this month. If somebody seems a little bit off, if you're catching their micro expressions, okay, especially that, you want to dig a little bit further, ask a few more questions, all right, so that you can, so that you don't get duped, okay? Um, the people are great. I don't see, you know, I, I don't see people outright lying, but I feel like there might be, they might be holding the, tr withholding the truth or not revealing everything, lying by omission, for example. So I feel like you're, 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 you're getting, you're getting hunches that these things are happening and you're definitely being guided to kind of like sort things out. For those who are online dating, for example, 
and you have somebody who is at a distance from you, get to know them really, really, really well before you decide to take a trip to go see them because I feel like they still have some unresolved relationships or like they're somebody that they're with and they're not being completely honest about it, you're going to catch it. You're going to be able to, you know, um, find these things out even without them telling you. But I just feel like it doesn't even need to get to that point. Okay, so just be a little bit careful. I'm going to leave it at that. I hope the reading was helpful. And uh, best of luck for you guys. And, you know, happy birthday. I will be back in... Um, what month are we? I'll be back in May, okay? For those of you who are interested in a reading, um, I do have a link in the description box below for a psychic out of California. Her name is Bridget. She is phenomenal. If you'd like to book a reading for yourself, if you know somebody who is potentially, you know, going through some rough patches in their life and they need spiritual guidance, I highly recommend that you book a reading with her. And the link for that is in the description box below. Best of luck with everything, Aries. I'll talk to you guys soon.